of the City of East Cleveland's Financial Planning and Supervision Commission. Madam Secretary, would you call the roll? Mary Norton. Here. Dr. Florence A. Caper. Here. Councilman Wheeler. Here. Uh, David Foss. Uh, Helen Ford Fields. Here. Mary Ann Nowak. And Sharon Harrahan. Here. Um, before we go on, I wanted to, uh, Rob's coming in um, shortly. Um, before we go forward, I wanted to say that Mary Ann will not be here. Um, Mary Ann's got some pretty severe medical issues that she has to overcome. So it may be some time before we see her at any time. So I just ask that you keep her in your prayers. Um, now, on to new business. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize. I ran out of the office this morning and didn't bring an agenda with me, but this is a special meeting and the sole purpose of this meeting is to discuss the issuance of a local government fund note. Um, what I'd first like to do in your packet is a little table, if you will, and it's the local government no issuance process. Um, without boring you to death on this and reading it verbatim, um, one thing I noticed in going through this is that uh, the statutes, the, uh, the statutes that um, authorize the issuance of these debt vehicles, uh, it are, is not the clearest or most intuitive way uh, they could be written. Um, I don't have any suggestions for a better way to do it, but I just want to let you know that it is pretty difficult to look through the statute. Um, 118.17 is a primary statute in the Ohio Revised Code that um, defines and details the procedure of the issuance of the local government fund notes. Um, there is a very detailed procedure that must be followed. Um, as a quick introduction, the city cannot borrow more than 50% of what they would get in local government fund notes. But that borrowing is not, say if they've got um, $3 million in local government fund notes, that doesn't mean that they can just borrow one, $1.5 million. It's actually the debt payments cannot exceed 50% of what they would receive in local government fund notes. These funds, this, this note will be paid back through a local government fund dollars that they receive. Uh, that payment will be taken right off the top. So while the city will get, um, if, if the borrowing goes as planned as far as the interest rate, so on and so forth, and the placement, the city would be getting six point, approximately $6.9 million. But that will also um, result in getting approximately half of the revenue that they would normally receive in local government fund uh, dollars. Um, 118, as I said, 118.17 really is our authorization and restricts what we can and cannot do in the issuance of it. But I would also say that 118.15 in the revised code um, also restricts us in that it restricts the commission in what they can approve as far as debt obligations. If we go back to 118.07 of the revised code that details the powers and duties of the commission. And a lot of our powers and duties are restricted to reviewing, um, asking for documentation, researching, discussing, suggesting. But I would have to say that out of all of chapter 118, this is the issuance of debt obligations is probably where we hold, as a commission, the greatest power. It is really up to us to approve the debt issuances. So it is, it, it's, a, it's a mighty tool for the city to use, and it's also a mighty tool for the commission to use as well. Um, at this point, because rather than go through this chart, I was wondering if perhaps Jeff Johnson 
could discuss with the commission what the city has done to date on the issuance. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, to the commission and to the audience members, um, thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, what we've done so far is um, uh, actually accomplished the first two steps in this 10-step process. On July 15th, I presented a resolution to our city council um, that authorized me to submit the application uh, for the borrowing to the commission, uh, which is in front of the commission today. Um, in the interim, uh, we've also had uh, conversations with potential underwriters um, to actually start to explore our ability to market um, uh, the note issue and to also find other placement sources. Um, I would add that all of these documents were created by uh, Calfee Halter. Uh, Calfee Halter is serving as bond counsel for this particular transaction. Um, so all of these documents have been prepared by them. Um, that's the extent of, of where we are. We're still early in the process, and uh, uh, this is the next step, which is consideration of the commission um, on this application. and. Um, if and when the commission so approves this application, uh, we move forward with the next step, which is uh, requesting city council to authorize the actual issuance of the notes. And obviously, um, we're going to be coming back to the commission um, subsequently for um, the actual numbers, because a lot of the, the numbers that I presented to city council and to the commission were preliminary numbers in terms of the borrowing the status of accounts payable, the status of deficit funds. Okay. Any questions that you have? Um, I just wanted to point out that um, in your packet, the letterhead document, that is um, the <coughs> certificate. Um, the resolution number 3514 is what City Council passed. City Council had to pass a resolution to authorize the finance director to certify, uh, provide, actually, he had a certification. They, uh, this ordinance actually um, authorizes the finance director to put forth an application to the commission. And prior to that, he had to certify the need for it, which is actually found it is Exhibit A in that same packet. That's his certificate. And as Jack has said, this is, I don't want to call it boilerplate, but it pretty much is written by Kelsey Halter, um, but is particular to uh, the city of East Cleveland. Uh, as far as the numbers that, are, that were arrived at. And um, the actual, given these estimates, what the um, actual um, debt service should be. And on page three of his certificate, um, should be about one point zero two million in debt service. So it's really a complicated formula that must be arrived at. Um, and I'm not going to go into that. I will just say that it has been conducted, that analysis has been conducted by the finance director. Um, actually, applicate, the application is in the packet too. Um, it was not filled in at the time it couldn't be because this has just been presented. Um, so what our duty today is, is 